racing. Nettie Seagurn only fairly away. Best out Zorba, the Greek, straight to the lead. Followed out there by All About Jazz. As followed, here comes around the outside. Nettie Seagurn's got a bit to do, though. They're followed by Darcy Brasco. They swing the corner. Still in front of Zorba, the Greek. Now Nettie Seagurn is really lengthening it out. Down on the inside will grab the lead and get the prize. Good win. Nettie Seagurn will beat Zorba, the Greek. Followed there, Darcy Brasco, three lengths away. They were followed all about uh, Jazz, then Gold Star DJ. Followed home was Lucifer towards the Taylor Hoke of Faith. And racing and off the boxes nicely down on the inside. Peter Banter followed out there by uh, Van Gerwen goes to lead and round the outside up there is eyes on Lulu. Now coming around wide on the track, Axel Foley. They're followed down on the inside. Botany went around the corner. No side of the two favourites. Up they come and along the inside. Eyes on Lulu. Eyes on Lulu, but Axel Foley followed Van Gerwen. Then we go back to Botany Win. A little gap there to no knowing. Followed further back there by Peter Banter. Uh, they're followed back. We go Archie's plan and Homebush Errol has ended up at the tail of the field. Set and racing, Inspector Spot jumped nicely, so did Gigan Air, but going around the outside, Jin slings up handy, they're followed through on the inside, Morty's Terror, uh, followed a length of two round the outside, trying to get into it, a Hoka Joker down on the inside behind those runners, we've got our blondie up, they come though, along the inside, uh, driving finish here, oh, gee, I don't know, <laughs> did the eight get there, Jin sling, what happened there? Uh, they all seem to be pulling up. Gin Sling, and then after that, I don't know. Giganir was up there. So too was Morty's Terror. They're all over the shop. Uh, followed there by uh, Sonny Will. I think we'd better leave it to the judge here. Uh Ready. And racing, Arnu's out beautifully straight to the lead and showing up there, we've got no smiggle. Uh, down on the inside, they were followed by Unreliable and he's got a run through round the turn out of the straight. Then we've got uh, Corbo Miami, that's in fourth spot but three lengths away. A length and a half of Power Viv, little gap there to the others, headed by Pimpman, Paddy, Dusty, Ryder, and out the back, Lady Mui, but on the corner, doing it nice as Arnu chasing hard, no smiggle into the straight though, Arnu and no smiggle are starting to pick it up, but Arnu a length and a half in front will beat no Smiggle, then Corbin Miami third and unreliable Andy fourth. After a gap then they were followed a Palmer Viv and then we've got at the head of the others Pepman Paddy followed uh, did a cool Dusty Ryder that was next home there followed by well back there Lady Mui and that was towards the tail of the field. Ready. 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 Ready.
And down on the inside, Gold Star Frankie left the boxes nicely. Now, Homewood's Ninja didn't jump that well. He's starting to motor up and around the outside now. But meanwhile, no laughing set the lead. Uh, no, uh, with, uh, around the outside, Homewood's Ninja to second. Going up wide on the track, Homewood's Misha up. They come. And getting right away from them, though, is no laughing to win by about six lengths. Second, Homewood's Ninja. Then we've got Homewood's Misha. After a gap then, they were followed by Pass with Care and Force Kiwi. Further back the field, they were followed by, uh, back there, Marlene's Terror, followed by Sally West, and uh, back there, Gold Star Frankie, after jumping well, finished back with the tail enders as well. And racing, Botany John off the inside, jumped nicely and showing up there, D. And followed there, where's the gold? And going up and around the outside, Terrero. And uh, where's the gold? Running out there, running out badly. Getting around it, Ginger Cook here to the back, they run. And getting away in front now, cutting away from the field by about five lengths now is D. D's the leader, running second, a hoka too soon. Up to third there, Big John Cannon. Uh, trying to run on Ginger Cookie, get the others headed by Corbo Muscle, but around the corner, D's got this all wrapped up. D clear will beat a hoka too soon, and right down the outside, Ginger Cookie, Big John Cannon, followed Corbo Muscle, and uh, they were followed further back there by Terrero, and the back behind them, a hoka too soon, and the one that dropped away there was uh, Where's the Gold? Botany John up ahead of it. And racing, Churchill Chaser on the inside began nicely. And uh, showing up there, we've got uh, Mama Lulu. And right round the outside, Big Muddy Glen is good. And uh, in behind them, Hershey Pie hooking to come to the outside. Further back, John Dory out wider, a power hog around the corner. Getting away, though, Big Muddy. Big Muddy will score. Then we've got in photos, Glen is good. See Mama Lulu out very wide, Hershey Pie. Further back the field, they were followed by the next one there on crossing would have been a power hog. And then just behind them was John Dory and uh, Mama Lulu was next and towards the tail of the field. Uh, one pulled up a good way back and that was Batty Arnas. And racing, and uh, the field away and jumping nicely. Rick's Terror straight to the lead and round the outside. Impersonator followed there by Token Stewarding for two back Corbin Chief. Then we've got Editorial further back the field. They'll follow to Par Rufus around the corner. They've, they've got to try and catch Rick's Terror again. It's clear and makes it six in a row. So Rick's Terror will score Impersonator out wide Token Stew. Then Editorial. They're followed back. We go there to Par Rufus. Then Camray. They're followed back. We go there to Homebush Tiare. And that was one of the last there on crossing. How good's he going? Rick's Terror.
and racing, no danger. Oh, he missed the jump rather badly. One of the best out would have been Gold Star Jenny. No securities away beautifully. And sitting uh, as followed through on the inside. No danger's got to run through now. Uh, moving up on the outside wide, Mr. Barry. Down the back they run. They were followed a length and a half back there by Pawanati. Further back the field, they were followed. Three lengths away there by uh, Axel Grinder, but coming towards the corner. And the leader is Gold Star Jenny. And down the outside, no danger's cutting him down now. No danger moves up, hits the lead. No danger. Good performance to score. Second gold star, Jenny. Third at the line. No security. Followed after a gap there by Airflow. Uh, the next home there was Axel Grinder, a power daddy. And uh, they're uh, blushing bell, that was. Sorry. And back there towards the tail of the field. Mr. Barry just couldn't get across from that wide draw and it's ended up near the tail of the field. And racing down on the inside, Flying Swan began well enough and showing up there. Wide smash, Amy. Flying Swan's got the rail though and the lead. They're followed three lengths away. Uh, running through there, Gold Star Mario. Three lengths away, My Foolish Heart. They're followed out wider of Eclamore, but around the corner, Flying Swan is proving too good. Flying Swan by two and a half. Beat smash, Amy. Three lengths away, Gold Star Mario. There's a gap to the others headed by Power Lucky. They're followed out wide by My Foolish Heart. Then we've got at the head of the others, uh, Rule Judge Judy. And and that was back near the tail of the field. And uh, racing off the inside, Botany Comet jumped nicely, so did Brighton Bullet, and uh, shooting up there, Claire Town is uh, going to be rather Corbin Abbey. Corbin Abbey goes the lead, round the turn into the straight. They're followed now, coming around Carrots Prince, and uh, right up there, Brighton Rocket, followed there by, on the inside, back behind the leaders at the moment, Runaway Taxi, a length of two back there, Gold Star Junior, a little gap there, a par with Jean with some to do. Botany Comet and tailed off here, Claire Town Leroy. Down the back they go, Corbin Abbey, but can she stay here? Here's Carrots Prince, the big danger. And moves up on the outside, around the corner. Carrots Prince has grabbed Corbin Abbey, trying to kick back. It's doing a good job. No, Brighton Bullet. Brighton Bullet over the top. We'll grab them both. Carrots Prince, then we've got Corbin Abbey. Followed further back there by Power Jean. They're followed after those there by uh, Cleartown Leroy, was it? Uh, the next there was Runaway Taxi and towards the tail, Gold Star Junior. And racing, Red Hot Fury stood there and missed the jump, best out, Corbon Pilfer followed through on the inside, Mulberry Brook and darting around the outside, Wally Wood coming right into it, there followed a length of two back there by, uh, down on the inside, back behind the Mulberry Brook, turning for home here and along the inside, Corbon Pilfer, oh it's just held on to beat Wally Wood, third Red Hot Fury, fourth home was a power Colin, after a gap there to the others, headed three lengths back there by Blue Gale Rise, uh, there followed, there might have been a bit of bother on the corner, Mulberry Brook was next and back there Billy Muggins and that was one of the last there on crossing.